with a little poke with the screwdriver. That's completely rotten inside. So we can already see from the little test with the screwdriver that the skirt is rotting out. But just to sort of confirm that there is dampness in this area, or well, the skirting is rotting out. I'm just gonna put the probe meter in. Let's see what readings that gives us. So 46, 47s. That's just sort of a confirmation really that there is dampness at this level. Put it a little further on, and again. Now we've already been doing a bit of investigation right around here, but just wanted to mention that when you've got blown plaster, um, often it's as a result of dampness, and often it's an indication of dampness. Um, it's quite clear that this is wet in here. So I've done a little speedy test with a calcium carbide meter. Showing around sort of four and a half to five percent total moisture content. So here's a great example of some cavity bridging. So this is the DPC on the inner leaf of block work. This is some debris in the cavity. You can see how it's touching the DPC on this side and on this side, but you can see it more here. So any ground moisture is going to allow to bypass that up into the uh, main fabric. Just cut out a section of skirting with a multi-tool. That's a brilliant bit of kit that. Neatly cutting out skirting, not not so much in this instance. But um, let me see if there's any internal bridging issues now. So that to the eye looks very wet. You can actually see some remnants of some rotting skirting there. But what's interesting is that the plaster seems to be taken down to floor level. Which is bad practice in itself, but it may also be bridging the damp roof course on the inner leaf. Well, we found the DPC and it's higher than I expected. This black line here is the damp roof course. The plaster, like I said, has been taken right down to floor level. So any ground moisture coming up through that bridging debris in the cavity, or even up through the floor slab if it's not protected by a, a bitumen DPC or similar, it's just going to affect the wall surface. So this is the back of the skirting we've taken off. You can see it's clearly rotting out. It's probably just this paint holding it all together. May even add a bit of a wood boring insect on there as well. Maybe some weevil. I'm not too sure, maybe not, but it's very likely, especially if it's been wet. So remedial action here will probably be um, a bit of cavity clearing, a bit of replastering, and we're gonna look at some way to interlink the ground floor DPM into the DPC there. Um, it's not positioned how it should be. Um, so definitely no chemical DPC needed here.